right? We're at uh, Cherokee County Animal Control. This is Luna, a little white deaf pit bull, a little over a year old. A little pit bull mix. Um, she's supposed to be euthanized today, but um, we went and we got her. This is not our first time meeting Luna. A little over a year ago, uh, a girl that we knew from uh, one of the bars that we do a uh, fundraiser at approached us. She had taken in Luna as a puppy, supposedly from a bad situation. She asked us to help her. So we vetted the dog, all the shots, all the vaccines, um, fixed her, microchipped her, and we were going to help her adopt her out. But they decided they wanted to keep her. So uh, a year later, she called us and told us that she didn't want her because she doesn't listen. Well, she doesn't listen because she's deaf and she was never taught anything. Um, they knew this. So we gave them the option of bringing the dog up to the adoption days with us and uh, helping them find a home. She said she was having issues with her jumping over her fence and uh, she was leaving her out in the backyard unattended. Never paid any attention to her, obviously. Um, we got a call because we had microchipped the dog that she was turned in by the owners to Cherokee. And they said she was food aggressive with other animals here, so they were going to euthanize her today if we didn't go get her. Well, Derek and Mandy stepped up to foster her. Um, so we agreed to take her in. As you can see, she was turned in. You know, she had worms. She had fleas. You look at her back, flea dermatitis, some remnants of it. So uh, these people were telling me how much they loved the dog when they turned it in. So, I don't think that they did. If you love a dog, you don't dump it in a pound. Uh, it doesn't matter now. She's part of our family, and we're going to get her some help. You know, we even offered a trainer to these people. We sent Iris over there to work with her, and Iris said there was nothing wrong with the dog. But she just needed people to pay attention to her. So, unfortunately, this dog was going to suffer, be put down. She's been here for about a week, and uh, we're getting her over to um, Derek and Mandy's. She'll be quarantined for 10 days, and she'll be ready for adoption. We'll get her some training with Iris. So this is her freedom ride, and uh, today's freedom ride is sponsored by a bunch of people. I'll list them when I post the video. Luna, you made it, girl. This is your freedom ride. You ready, baby?